Good readings, beautiful earthlings. My name is Star. If you are new here, I don't know how you found me, but I am super glad you did. And if you are returning, y'all, the real MVP, you already know. I just want to say, first off, if you guys are brand new to my channel, thank you so much for coming to visit today. It's super nice to have you. And if you decide to stay, you can always hit that little subscribe button as well as the post notification button so that you can get notified every time I upload because I don't upload regularly. But if you decide to stay, I would love to have you guys. So if you have been sticking around with my channel for quite a while, you already know that a while back I had come across three knockoff decks. I have been gifted both the Oracle decks, the real versions of the Oracle decks. However, I was still waiting on the real Lightseers. So I finally, finally got the money, the things aligned where I can finally get this tarot deck. So you guys already know what I'm talking about. Here is my Lightseers knockoff. And here is the real Lightseer's Tarot. So I will be doing a review on the real Lightseer's Tarot as well as the walkthrough after this video. I just really wanted to get this one out first because I am super, super excited for this one. And all of my friends that watch my videos in succession know how long I have been waiting to do this. So I did order this, came in the mail about two days ago, I think, and I've just been going through it very patiently, trying not to mess it up, and looking at all of the little details that are different in this deck compared to the knockoff. So if you guys have not seen my video about the uh, knockoff tarot deck industry, I will link that in the description box for you guys. Um, I have made quite a few videos about knockoff tarot decks because it is quite a booming industry and it really irks me. I think I, I might be one of the very few people that takes a very serious stance against knockoffs, but um, what we are talking about here, if you guys are not aware, the idea of knockoff, bootlegging, pirating, um, essentially ripping and burning, that's the type of idea we are talking about here. So please don't put in the comments that every deck is a knockoff of the Rider Waite because that is not true. They are based off of their inspired works. I do cover all of that in that video about the knockoff tarot deck industry as well. So not going to get into that. We're just going to be comparing these two decks today and this is something I have been waiting so long to do because I've seen videos of this deck. I've have you know my aunt has this real deck and she shows me pictures and I'm like okay that doesn't help me I need to have it I need to physically have it I need to physically see it and you guys already know I have bonded with the knockoff in the meantime this is my knockoff deck Chanel and I love her so very much so I'm a little conflicted here about what I'm gonna do with Miss Chanel now I think I'm going to retire her from everyone else's readings and have her as my personal deck because I have really a stronger bond with her than any other deck other than Enigma, my Centennial. So I think I might just keep her to myself and not do anybody else's readings. If I use the Lightseers for anybody else's readings, probably be this one. So um, let's go ahead and first off, take a look at my Lightseers uh, knockoff, if you guys have not seen this yet. So we had talked about in that video how you can tell this is a knockoff on Amazon and Etsy. You can buy the knockoff. I did not buy them from Amazon or Etsy, but I'm not gonna tell you guys where I bought them. So. The, this one is the easiest example that I have found in the knockoff tarot deck industry because it is such a blatant difference on the cover. If you see here, I don't even have to tell you the difference. You can see it, not only in the size. Here we have the author, which is Chris Ann. Here it says a 78 card deck and guidebook. And you don't have any of that on here on the knockoff. You don't have the name of the artist and all you have is a 78 card deck. I do want to give uh, major props to the people who did this, however, because my other knockoffs do still have the artist's name on there. Like, they're really trying to make it look like it's the real one. This one, they're like, we know this is a knockoff, we want you to know this is a knockoff. So, as you can see here on the back, it also has a PDF download of the book. Like I said in past videos, that is a huge indicator of a knockoff. And it does come in this little flip top cigarette box thing. I can't tell you guys how freaking excited I am to get rid of this stupid little flip top box. I have been wanting to throw it away every single day that I look at it. It bothers me so much, but I'm so glad I kept it for all of these videos because I threw away the other ones of the Work Your Light and the Mermaids and <laughs> it kind of bit me in the butt when I needed them for a video. So you guys already know, smaller version, as you can tell by the box, but um, so glad to be done with that thing. Good grief. 
So let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful box. Goodness gracious. This is what a box should look like, my friends. This is what the real Lightseer's Tarot box looks like. It is this beautiful slide off box. Look at this. We've got some beautiful writing in there. You can go ahead and take a pause if you would like to read that. And I am, oh, you guys have no idea how much I have just been sitting here going through this deck for days. Like I am so excited. I even put the knockoff back in order for the sake of this video. And then I realized I'm probably not going to do a walkthrough side by side like I thought I was. So here we have our little book little book which you clearly don't get in the knockoff so i'm not going to go over this book until my review as you can tell it's a very weighty book and let's go ahead and take a look at the difference here in whew, where to begin <laughs> so let's just take full cards for example as you can see the knockoff it's tearing apart really bad i've told you guys that in um, other videos as well that this is the flimsiest cardstock this is super thin it's probably the exact cardstock of an index card like it's the thinnest cardstock i've ever had again this is no shade to miss chanel i love her deeply we're talking about the fact that this is a knockoff here we're gonna disconnect Miss Chanel's beautiful spirit from the idea of a knockoff here because I love her, I don't want to offend her, but um, we are talking about a knockoff tarot deck. So if you take a look here, you can see there's a very clear color difference. And I didn't mention this in the last one that I had done. Um, this is kind of the same as plagiarism, where you Take a paper somebody else has written, maybe change a couple sentences, slap your name on it, and call it done. And remember, people get expelled from college for that. You get totally blacklisted from colleges for plagiarism. It's a huge thing. And let me just say, the colors in this actual deck are so dynamic. I've started noticing things in these cards that I did not notice in the knockoff because the knockoff is so muted. The way that I can explain the mutedness of these colors in the knockoff is if they had run it through a really crappy Instagram filter, like the wrong Instagram filter. They thought it looked a little bit better and it just doesn't. It takes all of that dimension out of the picture. It just really changes the feel of that card a whole lot. Even on the back, you can see there's a huge color difference. Um, clearly both of these cards are matte. However, this one is a lot, a lot lighter. That is pretty much the tonal shift difference you can see throughout these cards in this deck. And honestly, the biggest difference that I noticed was in the swords suit. So I wish I had pulled all the sword suits out like I wanted to, but maybe I can get lucky and find this card really quick. There is one, here we go. This is the biggest, biggest difference I have noticed out of all of them because these swords are such dark cards in this deck. <laughs> you see that difference? That is the exact difference of all of the cards in this deck. So um, except for the whole cardstock situation, clearly this is a thicker cardstock. At least this one is not glossed. I do love that these are still matte, but look at that difference. You can see the difference in dimension there. Huge difference in dimension. This is so flat and it seems like they even took liberties to um, go in and maybe photo edit some of these pictures. I have seen a couple where there are slight differences. There was one, I want to say it might be the Ace of Cups, where the girl's mouth is right at the top. In the actual Lightseer's mass market deck, you can see clearly two lips. In the uh, knockoff, it's changed into just one lip and I've seen lots of um, editing around the sides they'll cut off certain things they'll mute certain things they'll omit certain things you guys I have spent days looking at the differences between these cards and for the sake of the video not being too long I didn't decide to pick them all out for you but there's quite a big difference between the knockoff and the original and I know I know, I know, I know, I know. We're not getting into the ethics of the situation because a lot of people have pointed out to me that they just blatantly don't care and that's fine. I did cover that in all of that. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's totally fine. It's a free country. You do what you want. You buy what you want. I'm not here to shame you. 
I'm just here to give you the facts and just show you the big difference between the knockoff and the original mass market produced decks. So if you guys are like me and it really irks you when you get a knockoff, just do your research. I do show you guys in my two other knockoff videos uh, how you can spot a fake, how you can figure out which one is real, which one is fake. And I will say most um, real mass market tarot decks will go through bookstores as well. Somebody did point that out and I completely forgot to mention it, but I have bought tarot decks from Bar like Barnes and Noble or any other bookstores, local bookstores. They will usually be really good about having the actual real licensed mass market product there for you guys so that you're getting the actual thing. You're actually supporting the artist and the publishing team and all that good stuff. Um, the only way you'll really come across a knockoff is either a small business, like I had said in that other video, some small businesses can purchase these knockoffs in giant bulk and turn around and resell them for a little bit higher price to make a tiny profit. Or on um, Amazon, even small sellers, I have come across somebody who had bought a bunch of them from like a live stream where they were doing a selling live stream for either themselves or their shop. And again, they will be knockoffs, but they won't advertise them as knockoffs. Sometimes they will advertise them as mini decks with PDF download. Sometimes they will just advertise them as mini decks. Sometimes they won't even say anything. They'll just say that they're on sale. So if you guys wanna check out that other video, I do have lots and lots and lots of good info in that one. I have been pushing that video real hard to everybody because I really want everyone to be as completely um, knowledgeable on the subject of tarot, of knockoff tarot decks and knockoff oracle decks as you can be. Just keep your eye out, but I don't want to scare anybody into thinking that knockoffs are more, pre more prevalent than the real mass market products, because that's not true at all. Um, I think about maybe 20 to 30 percent of sales on Amazon are actual knockoff products. So it's not like it's a huge, huge difference, but there are tiny little differences that you can spot right off the bat that will give you red flags, let you know that it is a knockoff and just don't go through with getting it because it is a little bit cheaper if it bothers you. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's that ethics there. That's up to you. I'm not here to shame you. I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. I just wanted to show you guys the differences between knockoffs and the real mass market deck. And I wanted to give you guys all of the information on how you will stumble across knockoffs and how you can very easily find your way to the real thing. So what I like to do personally is follow all of the artists. If I like a tarot deck and I'm scouting it, I follow the artist on socials. They will always tell you who they are selling that tarot deck through. They will always be sure to link things like that. They're very, very good about things like that. And usually on Amazon, there is always that one listing that is the normal mass market price that is sold directly from the artist. So please be aware of that. I have also seen some of them that use the artist name, but they'll have one letter difference. So it's very important that you do your do diligence as a consumer and check all of those details if you are serious about buying a tarot deck. Again, if it doesn't really matter to you, don't worry about it. I'm glad you came to watch the video. So I really hope that you guys had a fun time with this video like I did. I really wish that I could go into depth and show you all of the differences in this deck because trust me, tis my bread and butter, tis to look at these differences between the knockoff and the real thing. This color saturation is a huge difference, but Again, I have bonded with the knockoff. I do love her dearly. I'm not going to abandon her, I'm not gonna throw her away. I'm not gonna put her on the wall. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm still gonna use her, still love her, still very bonded to her. And I look forward to bonding with this new one to find out the differences between the spirit of the deck. It's a very interesting situation. I've never had a real and knockoff of a certain deck. So, um, besides my oracle decks, but they're, they're not the same when it comes to like tarot decks where it's the spirit of a cards and you know, they talk to you and they have conversations with you and they have names and personalities. So this is going to be a big experience for me. And I really hope you guys um, stick around if you are interested in this type of stuff, because I know already I'm going to get tons more videos out of just these two decks together. So I am so relieved to finally have the real lights ears. You guys already know this has been weighing very heavily on me, not having that real deck. Um, 
having actually purchased a knockoff, it was really, really eating away at me. Every day that I was looking at that fake box on my Tower of Tarot, it was just driving me bonkers. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, friends, if you have made it this far, please give me a big thumbs up. That really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you didn't like this video, that's cool. Thumbs down. You don't have to like my video. Say whatever you want in the comments because y'all do anyway. And don't forget, friends, my link to my stickers are down there as well. These cute little greetings, beautiful earthling stickers. We have sold eight of them so far, so there's 37 left. Once they're gone, they are gone. So remember that is free shipping in the US. If you guys are interested, that Etsy link is in the description box for you guys. They are water and weatherproof. Feel free to put them on your cups because I have thrown these through the dishwasher quite a few times and they're doing great. So I'm super, super excited about that. My first little mini merch launch for this the, for the show for the channel so um i also have my amazon wish list down there for you guys as always as well as all of my socials info i have taken my booking info down i don't know if any of you guys noticed that um just because i do get quite a lot of readings from my group specifically and it's just way 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 too much to try to deal with um getting external booking from like YouTube and stuff like that. If you guys go out of your way to seek me out and find me on Instagram and Facebook and ask about it, chances are I'm probably still gonna give you a reading. I just took all the booking info off of the description box for any passersby. So I really hope that you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day wherever you are when this video reaches you, my friends. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Namaste.